Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, me playing some more Guild Wars 2 uh, episodes and whatnot. So I am currently on the um, story path which is going to be the Dragon's Reach Part 2. This might be just a bit longer to incorporate more episodes just to make it a little bit more consistent and uh, not having so many parts. So I might do a couple of different instances in one part here. So we're in Party Politics which is check your mail to... Um, ugh, check your mail for Ministry Treachery. Okay. Uh, so I have found this mail, which is from Casimir. I'm afraid my efforts to get the Queen to the summit haven't gone as smoothly as expected. The Queen has had a situation arise that may prevent her from attending. I'll give you the full details when you arrive, but the short version is that someone is spreading rumours that Queen Jenna is not... Uh, not only met with Evil Scarlet prior to the Queen's Jubilee celebration, but also conspired to give the Scarlet the Mechanical Watch Knights. This is, of course, ridiculous, but the Queen can't leave Divinity's reach until these rumours are squelched. Countless, sorry, Countess Anise has uh, suggested that I use my initiative, uh, intuitive ability to find the CAD spreading the rumours and discredit them, but I don't want to do this alone. Will you come help me? And I'm going... Uh, here in, Divinity, bleh, in Divinity's Reach, the day that I cannot talk. Um, and I'm just going to go and see what the crack Fresh. is exactly. Still cool of this stuff as well. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Here we go. Here we go. Hope you're all well, by the way, and enjoying this. This is quite late. This is almost two weeks after it's all started. Okay, randomness. Party politics. Let's have a party. Mm. Let me catch you up on what's happening. Queen Jenna can't attend the summit because someone has accused her of conspiring with Scarlet. The hearing is the same day. Someone's lying, and we have to figure out who. Soon as we know, we can confront that person and get them to recant their statement. We need to talk to everyone, find clues to the truth, and build evidence to defend the queen. Once we discover who among them is the mastermind, we'll take action. But be careful. These people are suspicious and sensitive. Say something too blunt or off-putting, and they'll clam up. If we're obviously undermining their plans, they'll have us escorted out of the party, and it will all have been for nothing. Okay. You go to a That's party. Good. <clears throat> Introducing a hero who needs no introduction, the commander of the pact, and accompanying the lit, uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, Casimir Mead. <sighs> Keep it together, Cas. You can get through this. Be confident, like Jory. We're here Kasmir, to serve. Come over here. Don't look so glum. Care for an order? Hello, dear Casimir. Don't worry your little face over what the Herald's papers say. You'll always be noble in my eyes. Countess Anise. That's direct, <laughs> and kind of you to say. I'm afraid I don't feel particularly yeah. noble. Then we must do something about that. Nobility isn't in the blood, as so many believe. It's that. in your choices. You. Your return to grace is only a pardon away. May if your talent for detecting lies finished. is all you say it is, well... Let's just say I'm confident we can convince the Queen your value overrides your father's misfortune. I only hope to be of some small service, Countess. Oh dear. Okay. Let's start picking apart everything they say. One of these ministers is spreading lies about the Queen. Don't misunderstand, Countess. I'm certainly grateful to you for purchasing my billet and putting me to work. I'm just not sure I understand the reasoning behind dragging me to this soiree of yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So find the... whatever. <laughs> find the Lion Minister without a rising suspicion. How do you arise, uh, arise suspicion then? Oh, this could take a while, couldn't it? They're all nobles. Is it the button that makes it really... I thought for certain it was Minister Wee who attended court the day Scarlet was there. Are you sure? <laughs> Hello. I have a vague recollection of, of that crazy Silvari walking into her audience with the Queen. This was well before the attack on the city. By the way, I still don't know why I noticed her. How long? 
Maybe we. She gets the vapors. The vapors? The vapors? Fragile constitution. Poor, poor dear can't keep up with her husband. Apparently, the Invoke and I. I thought he was in the court today. In the court? In, in court the day Scarlet had an audience for the Queen. Were you attending court that day? Hmm. Don't arouse suspicion. It's the d <laughs> it's the dull look on their faces. But seriously, it is rather difficult to confuse Minister Weir with Minister Estelle or even Minister Arton. My memory just isn't what it used to be. Which one did you confuse Minister Weir with? I saw Estelle enter the throne room along with the goat farmer, Minister Arton and Silvari. That that wretch turned out to be Scarlet. She did. I remember hearing afterward that Scarlet approached the Queen. No one paid any attention back then. Scarlet was a nobody until the Queen's Jubilee. Hmm. This is very story. Story, story. I wish Anise hadn't invited the ministers. They make me so uncomfortable. Especially Minister... Excuse me. Are you eavesdropping? No. I'm not eavesdropping. You want to talk to me. I'm sure it's through to eavesdrop. Were you? No, my lady. I was merely wanted to introduce myself. Oh, I do beg your pardon. It's a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Uh, and my companion here is Lady Brenda. Brenda! Are you enjoying the party? Some of the guests seem rather tense. I wouldn't think anyone could ignore such a beautiful night as this. Oh, I'm quite sure the Mesbers prefer dark nights like this to sunny days. Ha ha ha! I've met a few of them. How long has it been since your visit, you visited our far, fair city? I return as regularly as I can. She's not lying, but she's being evasive. Try again, and press her for more information. Minister Cardacus. Cardassus. Whatever. Of course, he surrounds himself with intrigue, cloaks, daggers, shadows, all the nasty business. Don't let him look upon you, my dear. Once he has you in his sights, you're doomed. It can be dangerous. Some of the guests seem rather tense. A particular minister makes you comfortable. Thank you. Okay. Oh. How quaint. <laughs> hmm. Yes, yes, what is it? Again? Okay, that's all this. <laughs> I'm quite blah blah blah. blah, blah. Okay, how long has it been since you visited that person? Curious, what is the latest ministry gossip? The ministry is powerful and sneaky. Perhaps you're a bit too curious. Let me advise caution. Be careful. Some of the guests are rather tense. Particular minister makes you uncomfortable. Yeah, we've been, we've done that. Ministers, ministers, ministers. Of course, Codicus would be involved in anything that undermines the Queen, but he's not the one accusing her, so we have to find that person. Because I'm not massively interested in the law, it makes that kind of thing a bit difficult, and I'm just like, ugh, what do I do? I just want to click the right stuff to get through it. <laughs> so get PvP, PvE is into PvP, but the PvP in me doesn't want to get into this at the moment because it's a bit boring and I'm just oh, talking to people and not fighting. She's been having a lot of private meetings with Minister Codicus. Okay. What? Minister Estelle is being pressured by Minister Marula to retire? Well, she would never. She's far too ambitious. Oh, she is. My time is precious. I'm going to get more punch. It's so fruity. <laughs> Wait, I wanted to ask you something. No, actually, just go like that way. Oh. I'm not sure about Fine. this. Fine. Only if you make it quick. I'm excited. Okay. Uh, spreading rumors about the queen would prove very exciting. Two-faced layer. Let's go for that one. Oh, what the hell? I'm rich, you know. What? Well, I don't really see the point in this. You're just gonna go through the different options. So. Yeah, now. I've never met Minister Estelle. If she's been meeting with Codicus, she may she know something. 
Yeah. My oh, man, there's been so much information. Can you make heads or tails of it? Not really, actually. We've learned a few things. There we go. First, we know who was in the court that day. Yes, a farmer with a goat, two ministers, Estelle and Arton, and Scarlet. And we know that Cadocus, Cadesus, um, lets others do his dirty work for him. We've also heard that as both Estelle and Arton have seen Cadesus this recent, lately. It must be one of them. Let's talk to Minister Arton first. Arton, where are you? Is that nice? It's weird. <laughs> This like Stop right there. I care about your dog's new haircut. Oh my good lord. Is this? Pardon me. Woo! What can I do for you? I saw selling my old friend Cadesus or the other day. We really must do something about these bandits. They are a hazard. I have reason to believe they're connected to the white mantle. Did you see Scarlet the day she had an audience with the Queen? I did. There were four of us in the throne room with the Queen and Countess Anise and the guards, of course. It was Scarlet, me, Minister Estelle, and some dirty farmer with a goat. Okay, that sounds so wrong. And the Queen spoke to Scarlet? Yes, she was polite as always, but the Countess kept whispering in the Queen's ear. It was making us all nervous. Scarlet wanted permission to study with the engineer that designed the watch nights. What did the Queen say? She respectfully declined. Scarlet was the last in line, and the Queen left before they could, there could be more discussion. Scarlet tried to say more, but the Queen apologised and hurried out. Anything else? The Savari Scarlet looks livid. She stormed out, shoving guards out of her way. She was rather frightening, actually. I imagine that's why Countess and Nice saw that made saw that made her hustle the Queen away. Cast, does this testimony line up? His description of them perfectly matches what Anise told me. Minister Alton is still the truth. He must not be the one. Interesting. You've convinced Thank me. you. It looks like Minister Estelle is the one spreading this horrible rumor. Let's keep at it. If we're going to confront her. We'll need serious evidence to back us up. I know for a fact Ugh. the Queen had a private talk with Scarlet. How? Everyone is saying it, so it must be true. Yeah, everyone. Waiter! Oh. Hello, we were just discussing how horrible it is the Queen betrayed us all. That's a rumor. No, it's not. I saw her in the Selma district shortly after nightfall. She wore a black woolen cloak with the hood up. The only reason I knew it was her was because I was bumped into her and saw her face. Casimir, what do you think? I twitched when she, when she said that. I don't think it's the truth. I believe you. Hold on, Jebro. Did you see her eye twitch? I don't think you should trust her. <laughs> see, you don't really have the choice in the end. Listen, just between you and me, I may not be telling the exact truth, but they offered me a lot of gold if I'd say I was there. Please, you can't tell anyone. Oh, right, I'll testify that I was paid to lie. She changed her mind quick. But I'll never say who paid me. I don't betray old friends. Still, I was comfortable lying. I wasn't comfortable lying, but my son is ill. I hope the Queen will forgive me. Good observation. I had a feeling she was lying. The Queen wouldn't hold a private meeting with just anyone, much less a Silvari with no political connections. This woman will testify. Okay. Let's go over here then. Someone's talking over Is here. lying a prerequisite for being in the ministry? Yes. Did you need something? It makes me so sad to think the people who run our city, our kingdom, can't get along with each other. Now one of the ministers is spreading lies about the queen. Okay. Uh, who do you work for? I beg your pardon? I don't believe that's any of your business. I can take that. Oh, the audacity. Huh? Where are your manners? Gars, please escort these scandal mongers to the gates. Oh. oh no, this isn't what was supposed to happen. Oops. Oh, this is irritating, my goodness. What just happened? It felt like a mesmer spell. I think Anise created a diversion for us. Let's get back into her party. Okay, so please don't say I have to start that whole thing again, because that would just be very annoying and very long-winded. Thank God, it's quite boring at the moment. I like it here. 
Uh, I'll pay for information. Oh, you're rubbish. Both my wife and I work for ministers. They can be like ra night and day. And my wife... Oh, look, the sus I didn't actually see the suspicion bar over there. Okay, so you do have to be kind of careful. Most days my wife works has harder time, la di da Would she know where Estelle was the night before the alleged meeting? Maybe Estelle often visits her friend Lady Claire in the evening. Ask my wife if she knows what happened. She's a good woman and won't lie to protect a minister. That's another witness who can help us prove the Queen's innocence. Nicely done. Yeah. I don't really know what's going on at the moment, but... We're just trying to prove someone's lying at the end of the day. Not sure there's as much script needed, but this is more for PvE and lore fans, I guess. People actually care that much. Oh, you're, you're, you're you! You're you! You're well known in these parts. The Queen recently mentioned you were hosting a summit. She'd like very much to attend. It's my hope that she will. It's about the Elder Dragons, isn't it? Etc. Oh. Speak quickly. Maybe complicated. Oh, I know those lies are still spreading. Can you imagine now, barefoot queens skulking through the streets tonight in disguise? Laughable. Uh, I don't think so. La di da di da. In the front room, yes, but not in the streets. Countess hardly ever lets the queen out of her sight. She and the guard will corroborate the queen's alibi. Hmm. Hmm. One more person to go and chat to. Hopefully. Ugh. <laughs> Need some action, man. Need some action. These things need to be a bit more action packed rather than just running around asking questions. Uh, we're discuss discussing how horrible it is that the Queen betrayed us all. Uh, just a bad rumour. No, oh, it's not. I saw her summer district shortly before nightfall. We've gone through this already. Good observation. I had a feeling she was lying. The queen wouldn't hold a private meeting with just anyone, much less a Silvari with no political connections. That feels good. This woman will testify. Yeah, she will. Sever's wife can testify that Estelle met with Lady Claire. Maybe the threat of tes her testifying will be enough to shut this down. What else? We have multiple witnesses who say the Queen turned down Scarlet's request. I still can't believe Scarlet wanted to study with, with the watchwork engineer. Thank the gods the Queen turned her down, though that might explain Scarlet's anger when she attacked our city. What else? We know Estelle fr Estelle's friend was lying for her. For a pouch of gold, you mean? Estelle must have coached... Must have coached Lady Claire. I don't imagine it will be hard to get her to testify to the lie. I guess they weren't such good friends after all. We're ready to confront Estelle with the Looks evidence. Like got everything we need. Time to expose Minister <laughs> Estelle for the liar she is. Let's do this. I'm just going like to click through all that stuff. Oh, we've already done that. Might just get it to say it again, just for fun. Minister Estelle, you dirty please. bitch. I see you've been busy socializing with the guests. You're such a slapper. Skip Liar. the small talk. Listen closely to what Cell says. Once she's finished, don't be afraid to ask her to repeat what she said. Press her only when you're certain she's lying. I have a question. Is it true that you work closely with Lord Cadessus? I used to work with Lord him. But now I'm considering retirement. I've started spending most of my time in the mystery library. I hardly ever see him. Tell me more. Admittedly, I occasionally do small tasks for him, but he's still recovering from that awful scandal. He keeps himself most to himself that. most Thank of the you. time. Tell me more. Even at the parties, Lord Cadesus is off doing his own thing, and I'm left to my own devices. I'm just a wallflower. Casper, what do you think? Hmm, she's backpedaling paddling. Press her when she lies and then present your evidence to counter her arguments. Minister Russell, can you repeat that? I used to work with Lord Kisses, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I had. Why would I lie about something like that? He's my boss. Boss is boss. I don't work directly for him. I met someone who says you... S you see him often. Admittedly, I occasionally do small tasks for him, but he's still recovering from an awful scandal. He keeps himself to himself most of the time. He attended his garden party not long ago. Oh, yes, I'd nearly forgotten that. 
It was a large crowd. I only saw the um, legate minister from the Cross the Roses. I heard that there was only a handful of people there. Even at parties, Lord Cadesus is off doing his own thing, and I'm left to my own devices. I'm just a wallflower. <laughs> Shy, huh? Oh, yes. I barely spoke with him, with anyone during the entire party. Beautiful garden, though. The witness said you had an aside with Cadesus. He talked to you. La di da. Fine, he and I talked, but I'll never. You'll never learn the topic of that discussion, and you can't prove it. And it had anything to do with the Queen. Hmm. So perhaps I misspoke. Apologies. I shall revise my statement. Ah. Oh. Reject it. So what if I work with Lord Cadesus? Cadesus. Cadecus. It means nothing. It doesn't change the fact that I was there when Scarlet had her audience with the Queen. Did you hear what the Queen discussed with Scarlet? No, they spoke too quietly, like schoolgirl friends, whispering, so no one else would hear. I must have been lost in my own thoughts while the Queen and Scarlet conspired div deviously. Tell me more. I heard the word watch nights. Tell me more. Isn't that bad enough? Do you know how many people died because the Queen gave Scarlet access to the Watch Knights? Why are you still interrogating me? She's the criminal. I can take that. Thank you. Can you repeat that? It's been too quietly. That's a lie. You heard of everything. I heard hushed words, but I couldn't make out any of them. The Queen seemed pleased, though. Minister Arton heard everything. His ears must be better than yours. I must have been lost in my own thoughts while Queen and Scarlet conspired i heard the queen was escorted out of her safety you weren't there you can't possibly know how they behaved unless you questioned the goat <laughs> i spoke with art on his version agrees with the countesses and the goats okay yes well one person's point uh, politeness is another person's friendliness aren't you the nosy one if you must know i'll tell you what really happened mm, suspicion is raising it doesn't matter what happened in the throne room. The Queen arranged to meet Scarlet later that evening. She didn't want any of us to hear them, so she sneaked out. You're sticking by the claim that they arranged this in the throne room? Absolutely. Their foreheads were practically touching. They were so chummy. They agreed for something, and what else could it be? Tell me more. So it was brief. A look, a smile. Maybe they'd already managed to meet later. I don't know. All I know is that I saw them under the bridge. It was the Queen and Scarlet. I'm not the only one who saw her. There was another witness who came forward, a noble, a noble woman. Why are you working so hard to protect the Queen Jenna? She told, she sold us all out, and now she's trying to cover her tracks. It was definitely Jenna in the red cape. Can you repeat that? You're crazy. Oh yes, she was in on it too. All smiles and pet this and pet that. Miss Arton describes a very different atmosphere. So it was brief. A look, a smile, maybe. I'm going to say we've already gone through that bit. Impossible. What time did you see them? Later, about an hour after dark. They were in Selma District. I caught sight of the Queen's profile and nearly fainted. Why would she endanger herself like that? The Queen was in her office with a char emissary at the time. Um, I'm not the only one who saw her. There was another witness. I'm getting a bit worried about this because I don't want to tell me more. Tell me more. Why are, we, why are you working so hard to protect Queen Jenna? She sold us all that. Ah, there we go. Talking about the cape, there's confusion now. Sure, it was dark red. If you and your old friend can't agree on the colour's cape. Wait, I remember now. The Queen was in a black cape. Yes, Countess Anise was in a red one. Did I forget to mention that they were both there? <laughs> you know the Countess wouldn't let the Queen go anywhere alone. Oh dear. So now she's... Com this way. She's so... She's so lying, everyone. She's so lying. I think we're done here. Yeah, because you're just being a dick. We have an estimate. We have to eliminate any doubt at all if there's any smallest chance that Estelle is telling the truth. She's not, but we need her to hear her niece say she wasn't under that bridge. I'm sure I'd have sensed if there was some kind of mesmer cover up. I don't think. Don't you think? It doesn't matter. I'll know if the Countess is lying when we ask her. Let's go. <sighs> Gotta be honest, this is boring as shit. <laughs> For me personally, I am oh, bored no. of this. 
captains of your orders. Oh, I'm denying myself by planning monsters or centaurs. This entire gaggle of premium food. I thought maybe some well placed bombs here and there among the topiary, hmm? Or perhaps I'll pick them off one by one with my blade and hide the bodies in the pantry. I wonder, would that reflect poorly on your office? I imagine I'd become a hero to the Crichton people. And still, no reaction. I wonder, Countess, are you even here at all with me? <laughs> okay, then. Speak with Anise. I don't know why I did that. I don't even know where I'm going now. Oh, here she is. She's just chilling. My apologies for the deception. But I must go to unconventional lengths to protect Crita. Countess, Minister Estelle is claiming that you were there at this secret meeting. She's implicating you. Nonsense. I was at no such meeting. I did, however, receive a mysterious message signed only with the initial E. The note said that Estelle was in a bandit gambling parlor when she was supposedly spying on our queen. Reminding her of this will be enough to make her drop her lie faster than Farron's dignity. Ugh. It may have taken me a while, Countess, but I finally realized my part in your misdirection. If you can hear me through your illusion. Running back again to find this lady. See you again? I hope you're not planning another interrogation. This is a party, if you haven't noticed. Ah, oh, screw you. I imagine Countess Denise had a lie to cover up her presence at the bridge. It's her word against mine. Actually, Minister, it's several people's words against yours. What are you talking about? Has someone said they'd d testify against me? We have witnesses who will support Countess Anise's story. Traitors to the Ministry. Traitors! They'll find themselves in the streets soon. I doubt it. The Queen has positions for those who are honest and honourable. There are those of us who see through the Ministry lies and our numbers are growing. Jory would approve, eh, Cass? Goodbye, I'll Minister. Have you know I'm very well connected, and I... Your connections can't help with this. We know what you've been up to. Naughty what, person. What do you mean? We know you couldn't have witnessed this supposed meeting with Scarlet. We hear you were busy meeting with some lobbyist that day. Lobbyist? What are you talking about? So much for subtlety. You were busy gambling with some ruffians. Keep your voice that down. That's good. That's a faceless huh. accusation. Is that so, Minister Estelle? Perhaps you and I should speak privately and sort this little mess out. Please follow my that. guards. Thank you. I'll be with you shortly. Yeah, do it. Grass. Denise, thank you for inviting us to your party. It's been an entertaining and productive evening. No one is more delighted Not by your presence boring. than I. With all that <laughs> socializing and skullduggery, you must be craving the longest of naps. Now that this messy affair is out of the way. I feel fairly certain Queen Jenna will attend your summit. I think Minister Estelle will soon see the value in cooperating with me, rather than rotting in prison for treason. I may have use for her. On a separate note, I do hope you will stay and join the Queen's entourage, Casimir. You mean travel with the Queen to the summit? I'd be honored. Yes, I think that's the right play. You will, of course, have time to relay the full details of your father's story at that time. Oh, I, I don't think the Queen would be interested. That feels good. Nonsense. Now go. Say pretty things to my guests and enjoy yourselves for the rest of the evening. Yay. It's over. You must visit more often. The party wouldn't have been nearly as much fun without you. The Queen sends her gratitude as well. She can now attend your summit. I'll be there as well, though, incognito. That's wonderful news. I appreciate your support. Let's get the fuck out of here. If you have no <laughs> objections, I believe I will keep dear Casimir with me for a while. We must talk. We have much to talk about, don't we, Pat? One last question. If you knew Estelle was guilty, why not just out her yourself? Put simply, I'm too close to the Queen for my claims to be believable without support. I'd lose much of your dear, our dear Jenna. Um, we're incarcerated and the ministers know it. That's where you came in. Understand? Well, I don't... I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye for now. Yes, it's over, everyone! Thank fuck! <laughs> oh, my good lord in heaven. That was boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was just immensely ah, boring. Are, so Countess. much. I trust I played my part in your oh, charade this evening. 
There, there, Blossom. I can take that. You Thank did you. very well as the sore green thumb at my affair. I'm sure everyone was far too intimidated by your glowering menace to notice it was an illusion standing beside you the whole time. Yes. Indeed. I thought you seemed right. Anyway, like I just said, it was unfortunately is just a bit too long winded. Um, they really need to think about that story part because it's like for players that just want to get in, get on with the story, it's just like it's just too much. It's like too basically, we just needed to find out there was a lie about the queen and that's all that we needed and, and that took like 25 minutes or something stupid to get through with some little mechanic which I'm, I'm actually quite angry for some reason I don't know why because I it bored me just absolutely so hope I really hope the next part is just going to be a little bit more fun to be honest I know it's setting it up but still really <laughs> I mean come on Right, let's uh, let's get in, let's exit this place, and I'll see you. I'm actually going to keep that as a separate part because I don't want you to be sad, and then we're going to go into some action. But hey ho, we'll, we'll see the um, what the next part's going to be quickly. So there's a message from Timey. Hi, I have good news and bad news. I'd ask which you want first, but uh, I know you know it's a male. Okay, so I choose good news first. As you may have noticed, my WRD waypoint recalibration device works like a champion. I've been monitoring the waypoint network, and as workers repair the waypoints, the vines aren't attacking again. So, did I mention I'm a genius? Now for the bad news. It's Flunt. No surprise there, huh? He insists that I give him a personal demonstration of how the WRD works. It's as if he doesn't believe that my device is actually causing the change. I'm afraid he's going to try to weasel out of coming to the summit. Can you come by um, and back me up? We may have to beat him up or something. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to go and see Timey and that dude for a little bit of fun times. Um, uh, maybe... I'm just going to leave it there for this part, and then, uh, yeah. No! We're going to go do it now. Let's do it now, everyone. No, oh, it's so fun, isn't it? Oh. Okay, so we're going to go to the waypoint dry top. Still not sure how well these videos are going down with people at the moment, because my channel is mainly like a PvP and... Uh, uh, channel, you know, with builds and whatnot, so it's... Um, still not sure how well these uh, are being taken at the moment. These kind of PVE that videos, because people know that I, I like I enjoy the PVE. I'm going the wrong damn way. I enjoy the PVE, so I actually think that sometimes it's nice to just include it in my channel because it might be nice for people to see what I play every part of the game. Um, I didn't enjoy that part. That's probably the part I enjoyed the least, just because there was way too much story. And I'm just, yeah, it just bores me a bit when it gets to the point where you're just talking and talking and talking and I'm walking around like a complete pleb and I have no idea where I'm going. Um, so, yeah, that's basically why. Not interested in all that, to be honest. I'm still going the wrong way, am I? Possibly. Ah! I think I am, people. I think I am. I haven't been here much. <laughs> this is so funny. I could just make the video. Uh, I could just edit it, you know, and just you wouldn't even know that this had happened. I think it's closed for some reason. No, it's not. Let's go this way. Being a noob, being a noob, being a noob, everyone. How the hell do I get there? What am I doing right now? That feels good. Ooh. I'm not convinced that this is the correct way, in all honesty. <laughs> it's definitely not. This is the way back to the normal bit. This is the way up from before. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I've got to go all the way through. Oh, you plan. That's the way I need. That's the waypoint I need to be at. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. You got to watch me run around like a twat for a bit. Are you happy now? Are you? No. <laughs> here we go. 
Here we go, Jimmy. Just went to the wrong waypoint, didn't I? I thought I was in the wrong place there. Right place, sorry. Oh, shit. He is a big man. Isn't he? Let's go this way. Hurrah, huzzah, etc. You've got to hope that, um... That they'd change things like that in the future and just make it a little bit less or make it like a short version or say are you interested in learning in, in just going the really long ass way around this rather than just saying going up to and saying you're a lying bitch etc uh, because really it bored the hell out of me I'm sorry I love Guild Wars 2 I love her internet but that was just boring and if you want to get people into the story side and the living story side you've got to make it shorter than that and more engaging because that's just not the way to do it, unfortunately. A little bit of a miss there for me, so I'm hoping that this is going to be this next bit's going to be uh, a bit more interesting for myself. Now, people might find it interesting, and I'm, you know, might they might completely disagree with me, which is just my personal opinion. Ooh. Run, run. Okay, here we go. Judging that I can't even run around the map, right? <laughs> Here we go. He's just ahead. I'd go quickly though. Those Assyrian representatives are getting impatient. My crewmates in Ratasum have been monitoring the waypoint network. They say your device is affecting waypoints, not ley lines. Why? Can't you see? I adjusted the settings in the waypoint so they process the flow of magic at a more stable rate. I'll put it in simple language for you. My device interfaces with the waypoints and captures on-the-spot readings of magic's rate of flow through them. Using a complicated algorithm that I devised, it calculates the exact minimum frequency required to keep the waypoint running. It then adjusts the waypoint settings. Our readings are inconclusive without more information. We must demonstrate this device. Now. <laughs> Where's he going? Okay. I see you got my message. Thanks for coming so quickly. I hope you bought some weapons. <laughs> we won't be assaulting him. Ah, oh, foo. Okay, but he's insisting on demonstration. I have some miniature waypoints created for testing, so we can use those. All right, maybe give them more juice so they. The change is just obvious. I can increase the flow of the lane line and magic to them to boost their vibrations. They'll be almost as powerful as a real waypoint. Ready when what you are. You are. Whispering about over there. We're formulating a plan to demonstrate how the device works. You'll note that this chamber has a number of waypoint like props. We'll show you how it works. In miniature. You see, it's so easy, even a simpleton can do it. Take it away, Bram. Uh uh. You're not fooling me again. Hey, boss. Why don't you take this one? Yeah. There's an active waypoint. Well, a mini one. Go take control of the recalibration device. Okay. Right. Now take aim at the waypoint and fire away till its energy's gone. Oh, cool. That's cool. It's something different. I have to click and do stuff, which is a little bit more interesting than talking. Check the reading, but why? It is working. Keep at it. I want to see more. Yeah. This is more fun. I like to click stuff. Go get one more. Truly impressive work for someone who is young. Uh-oh. That click was not my fault. Not it. Not it. You're right, Tony. More headed our way. Yeah, some fighting. Woo! <laughs> Hurrah! You have had fighting in this. It's been taking a while to kill him, actually. Let's kill you now, because you need to die. Your new toy 
<laughs> that sounded so dodgy. That feels good. Is there anything in particular I need to do? I just need to kill them. Okay. It's fine as well. I don't know why I used it then, actually. It's a good thing it got interrupted. Woohoo! You're dead, Sonny Jim. So much poison and torment. Wow. Big thing incoming. And it looks like it means business. This is better. This is what needs to happen. Well done, everyone. Oh, good lord. What do I have to do? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Can I kill that? Oh my god, that's all the way over there. I can't even see it. There we go. No, no, no. I'm not trying to kill that. It's in the way. Is there another one? Okay. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That was a different kind of AoE. That's interesting. Okay, so I needed to use that to get the... Ah, look at the, all the stuff on the floor. Oh, this is much better. Thank you. That was definitely an intro then. Good. You've redeemed yourself from the last bit. Should have had this a different part. Damn it. Ah. Not that that's going to do anything. Confusion. I wonder if that's going to help. Poison. Inflict that poison to the maximum, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Supply crate. Ah, uh, you probably said the issue. Start using my abilities again. Okay then. Oh good lord. Oh Jesus! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to protect myself. I'm getting poisoned a lot here. Hey, we is really painful. Ow. Oh, uh, there we go. Phew. Poison is just rough. Okay, it's actually quite a little bit of a challenge there, I think. Okay, I'm getting on the device, because who knows how long it's going to take. Uh... Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Oh, good lord. You're failing, dude. Seriously. Stop that thing. Yeah, they're failing. You fail. <laughs> Supposed to be helping me, not making it worse. You stupid dick. <laughs> oh, good job, good job, good job, good job. Not bad, was good. Uh, okay, next one. Where, where, where? What? Again? The same one? That one there. Maybe it would have been better if she did this. God knows they're probably going to die now. The next one. It's the same one, apparently. Again. Can I change my mind? I'm bored. <laughs> Again? No. Again? What am I doing? Uh. This 
quite a long-winded fight again. Uh, arena again with the long-winded fights that don't need to be really that long-winded. But okay, it's the story. They want to make it as long as possible, etc. I understand. Oh Jesus! I really need to heal. Holy crap! I'm really close to death here. Oh no 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 no! Oh Jesus! That's better. I am. Oh no! I'm down. No 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 no! I'm being raised by Bram. No! Not so close! Don't die, no! I don't want to die to this! Come on, you can get me! Yeah, you man! You are a legend! Yeah! This one! Right at the last second, you are joking me! How did I die there? Bloody hell! Ah! That's actually quite enjoyable, though. To leave by me. Oh, not more. Good lord in heaven. Oh, there we go. There we go. That one there. That one there, hopefully, this isn't going to take us on the floor. Refreshing. Good. Next one. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Where are the rest of the council members and all that when, while I'm doing this? I mean, really? They're just not going to help. Fine, screw you. No. <laughs> Where are they? They're just standing there cowering like little pussies. You're doing a rubbish job of helping me, by the way. Where's the next one? I can't see you. Problem. Ah, you got some power there. I needed to get off it to knock him back, so... I didn't die. Are you able to be killed now? Not yet. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Give you poison, man. You're gonna die now, son. Yeah, let's cheer as well. Let's go talk to the pussies over here. <laughs> that feels good. Or not. Yes, well, the big one, as you so quaintly put it, may have friends. There won't be more. We successfully recalibrated the waypoints. So as you can see, Councillor Fly, my device will save the entire waypoint network. You can fake me now or later. <laughs> She's cool. The waypoints are protected. Wonderful. So you agree to come to the Grove Summit? Not so fast, my muscular friend. In light of this new development, I have decided to add further stipulations to the deal. Oh. What? Are you... Silence, Timey. As a ward of the College of Synergetics of Ratasum, you are required to hand over all inventions for study and documentation. I hereby claim proprietorship over this waypoint recalibration device. I will hold it in trust for you until your graduation. No! I made this on my own time outside of Radasum. Irrelevant. Hand it over like a good progeny and we will see you at the summit. No! I won't let you take it! Tommy, no! You wouldn't dare disobey your superiors, would you? Just hand it over. Hey, come on! Calm down and think! I told you! It's mine! Ah, crew. After that delinquent. What's she doing? She's completely lost her marbles. She's been a bit of a kid, is she? Oh my god! 
No way! She's actually completely buggered, buggering off. And there she goes. Huh, I swear, that kid is gonna be the death of me. My bet is she's headed deeper into the desert. And that means she's either in trouble now or will be very soon. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to end it there for this video, for the part one of this episode of the Dragons. Part two. Recalibrating the waypoints has been completed. So thank you very much, guys. We're going to go and find Tammy, the little cheeky one. Although, to be honest, you can't blame her. Flunt is a bit of an ass. But hey, hey. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you very soon. You can never have too much treasure. And I leveled. Woohoo!